Hey you guys, so um, I bought this Velotrick and um, so far I think it's great. Let me just tell you how much I paid. So I paid $11.99 for the bike. I paid $79 for a pair. I thought I was going to get one tire for $79, but I don't. the way it looks like on the website, it, looks, it just looks like one tire and you're paying $79 for one tire. But they sent me two tires. Um, also... I paid uh the bike comes with a yellow battery. This battery was $399. I got just in case I'm going to go for like a longer ride and I got this bike lock for $99. It all came out to like 17, 16. And um I think that's an incredible crazy crazy deal because I was going to I'm a big Trek fan and uh, I looked at the Trek Dual Sport and that bike to begin with just by itself was like $23, $23.99 or $24.99. And that's just nuts. But this is just, I mean, this this is the the best you can get, in my humble opinion. This this is um uh different. Um this does not come with the bike. But so far, I mean I love the bike. The main reason why I got this bike, it's because I'm come I commute about nine miles to work every day. So um sometimes I ride my trek. So, but it's nine miles to work and nine miles back. So, you know, sometimes I get a little, I get a little bit burnt out and I don't want to use my car too much. So, um, I mean, I think this is a great investment. Um, uh, by the way, when you buy the battery, an extra battery, it does not come with the charger. It just comes by itself. So I'm assuming that they, is, they think that you already bought the bike, the battery, the extra battery, $399, it just comes by itself. So uh, the bike does come with the ba yellow battery and a charger and everything else that you need. Um, was it a pain in the ass to put it together? Um, sort of. That's just my. That's that was probably my fault. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, I'm gonna make another video explaining a little bit of a. I was a little bit uh, frustrated when it came to um putting. Uh, or I'm sorry, adjusting the front brake with the rotor. Um, you know how you spin the bike and yeah, then it spins and then you hear it tss, 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 tss. like that's the rotor uh, kind of like messing with the, with the brake pads. So I fixed that, thank God, but I didn't know how to do it because on the Velotrek website uh, or the Velotrek YouTube website, when you click on their how to assemble, it do it looks like a different different brake uh, brake set like this here it looks different it's not the same one from the manual so i'm like i have to figure it out the man i would suggest when it comes to adjusting to this when it comes to adjusting the brake pads and everything look at the manual the manual is a little bit better it's easier but i'll make a different video a quick little video because i got i don't know if, if other people have problems with that but anyways if you have any questions um have i ridden the bike already yes i've ridden the bike already and i think it's amazing it's great I mean, it's effortless. I mean, if you're trying to like save up on gas, on, on car, car expenses towards the future, I think this would be a great bike. And also, also what I wanted to uh, talk about, I, I emailed them before I ordered the bike and I have the emails, by the way, I saved them saying I was asking them about on their website, the tires uh, on the website, when it comes to the specification of the tires, they say in the website says that the tires are t puncture resistant. So I just wanted to ask them, like, what does that mean? And like, they just said that there had, there's more woven underlying fibers under the tire. So that means that it's, it's more difficult than, uh, it's more difficult to have a, to, for you to get a flat. Um, so I guess that's pretty cool. And when you fill the, when you fill them up with air, they feel like they're totally different from my gravel tires and my Marlin, a Trek Marlin 6. I do ride a Trek 106, by the way, which I forgot to make a video. I don't have time. I'm going to make one very soon. I promise you that. It's going to it's gonna be a three-year review. Um, and also, I when I, I spoke to the same person through the customer care service on that same email, and I asked them, like, well, hey, what happens when you ride the bike in the rain? And then they said um, they said that their the bike is IPX6 uh, water-resistant rating, so, like, it can, it can really support... Or withstand like high pressures of water so i guess when you put this here there we go now it's straight like i guess if you're riding in the rain 
Like, I guess water won't go come in here. I'm assuming. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, it just seems that way. Like IPX6, I, re, I researched that on Google. Rem, make sure you Google that yourself. IPX6 water resistant rating and it'll say it'll talk about a lot of stuff that it is really really water resistant and um yeah it's pretty much i saved that email i put a star to it just in case i do write it in the rain and it gets messed up within that year like i can just get like a new bike replaced always when you um what i would i always do what i recommend doing is before you buy a bike always send them an email say send the customer service an email with all, all of the questions that you may think are important you got to send them those questions. They're going to respond. They're going to answer all your questions. Make sure you save that email just in case, just in case. That way you can, you know, if something happens, you can have respond, send them that email. Hey, you told me this and that, and they have, the, they're not, they have no other choice but to um, re, uh, entirely refund you or give you a new bike. If you have any questions, um, leave it in the comment section. I'm, pro I'm going to end up putting some more videos on my GoPro. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it, guys.